Candace is in Texas. Hey, Candace, welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. How can we help you today? Hi. Um, so we are in baby step number four, so our only debt is our mortgage. And today uh, we found out that my husband's contract position with his company is ending on Friday. And our mortgage company is offering a forbearance option for COVID-related income issues. And I was just wondering if I could get your advice on whether we should take the forbearance or use our emergency fund money that we just finished saving <laughs> to pay for our mortgage mm. and expenses. Yeah. So what does he do? Um, he works at an advertising or in um, in the healthcare industry in the advertising space. Um, okay. So if he's on he, contract, his job is come and go anyway, isn't it? Well, it's... It, the contract was actually over, and they just kept him going for months and months now because they really like him. But it's the company that he is contracted through. Um, they just have kept him. So, what was his a, plan career-wise if if the contract had ended, mm -hmm. other than in the middle so of coronavirus? They put a freeze on hiring. That company wanted to hire him, but that. So his plan was for that company to hire him. Yes, and I think their their plan was eventually to hire him, but because of all this stuff, they w were on a freeze beforehand, and so once they were off the freeze, they were going to... Mm -hmm. So what's he, what did he make? What was his income? Um, I want to say around 70. Mm. We're both full-time employed also, so my... Also, in addition to this? My, no, like, no my, I have a full-time oh, position oh. as well. So what do you make? I make 105. Why can't you pay your house payment? I I think we probably could make our house payment. Well, I think you can too. Especially with our um, make 105 thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. We just we just bought this house, so I'm just nervous. <laughs> yeah. I think. Um, and yeah, you're freaking um, out, but you're not doing math. Okay. Let's do math, okay? 105 thousand dollars a year. How much your house payment? It's $3,700 $3, a month? $3,700, yes, thank you. <laughs> Big house. Okay. All right. So you have an uh, $8,000, $7,000 take home pay. So it's 50% of your take home pay. Dad, gum. Big old house. All right. And um, he used to make 70 So what's he going to do? Is he going to go get a job or is he going to sit on his butt? I think he's he's look, he's already started talking to some people Good. that we know and uh, sending out. Good. His, uh, some well, Chris and I have been talking a lot about the forbearance mission. stuff lately. I, I, I'm going to tell you, I, Candace, I would I would stay away from the forbearance. Uh, the only thing that's going to happen with that is is that a they're going to either delay or extend your period of indebtedness. Uh, as Dave said, do the math, make the payment on this. Uh, this is not something you need to play around with. Uh, but I would tell you this: the most important thing your husband needs from you right now is encouragement uh, for him to reach out to coworkers, colleagues, and the soon as he can get money coming in, the better off he's going to be psychologically, and you guys will be financially. So uh, that's the route I'm going to go. So you guys stay plugged in, but you're going to have to delete the unnecessary things out of your budget. As Dave and I have been calling it, this is conserve mode right now. And so you guys need to get really, really intentional. Don't keep life going as you know it. You've taken a $70,000 pay cut right now. And until that gets fixed, life needs to change. Yeah, but if it takes a month to fix it, even, it's fine. you know, uh, you've got plenty of money, you're in good shape. You can do this for a month. This is you don't want to have a house payment's fifty percent of your take home pay for five years, but for four months or something, you're gonna be okay. And you've got an emergency mm -hmm. fund to backfill. See, forbearance doesn't mean forgiveness. It just means kick the can down the road. It means that, you know, you okay. don't if you don't pay the payment this month, you gotta pay it next month. And if you don't pay it next month, you gotta pay two payments the next month. And if you don't pay it the next month by September you got four payments that you're gonna owe. And uh, so mm -hmm. it's not really a blessing. Hmm. It's a, it's a form of denial, and I would rather you go ahead and deal with it, tighten up your budget, pay the payment. Uh, if you have to dip into your emergency fund a little bit, but I don't even think you have to dip into it. I think you can exist if you stop everything else right now uh, except that and then have him get on Ken Coleman's website and learn everything he can about getting his job replaced really, really fast. And uh, hold on, we'll send you a copy of Ken's book, The Proximity Principle, 
and get you going. Dave, you, you've been a real estate guy, and you're a whole lot older than me. A oh. um, whole lot older. Oh. But, but the, word, the term forbearance, back in your day, I was always taught that that meant that whatever was behind had to be made up before moving forward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, forbearance, what you and I have done in co- coaching and counseling and what you're referring to is if somebody comes into the office and they're uh, three house payments behind, uh, we'll jump on the phone as a coach right. with the mortgage company and work out a forbearance. Right. And they send you a forbearance agreement. And if they're three payments behind, it might be that you pay double payments for three months. Right. Or it might pay you pay a payment and a half for six months. To, but there's a get current process. Right. Absolutely. And, and all forbearance, the word literally just means patience. Ah. It does not mean forgiveness. I didn't know that. It means we're going to work it out over the next little while. But if you just don't pay it at all, you're just piling it up, and you're going to look up in September and 04 payments, and 3700 bucks a pop, that's called $16,000. That's a lot of money. With late charges and everything else. That's right. No, thank you.